so in this video we'll discuss about the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria anaerobic bacteria uh, does not require any oxygen for their daily needs or like uh, survival or any metabolism process for any cell growth they don't need they don't require any oxygen uh, without oxygen they can grow right <clears throat> then I will see about some uh, introduction about the anaerobic bacteria so anaerobic microorganisms are widespread and very important they don't need uh, as I said they don't need any oxygen for their survival purpose or for their some binary division or cell growth purpose okay so they are having some uh, definitions of anaerobes one is the uh, facultative anaerobes and another is obligate or strict anaerobes so facultative anaerobes are like uh, these are the specific microorganisms they can grow in presence of oxygen so not absence of oxygen so they obtain energy by both respiration and fermentation okay this type of microorganism this uh, facultative anaerobes uh, they can grow they can uh, make their cell grow and everything in absence or in the presence of oxygen if you see the strict anaerobes they don't need any oxygen for the cell growth purpose the, obviously oxygen is a toxic to these specific obligate or strict anaerobes okay uh, specifically uh, you'll see the clostridia those are specifically strict anaerobes so we'll, we'll see some examples of gram positive and uh, gram negative anaerobes if you point out this specific slide uh, i have mentioned the specific microorganisms like actinomyces bifida bacterium clostridium species and so on specifically this actinomyces makes some infections to the head neck or the pelvis region specifically it makes some aspiration pneumonia specifically this bifid bacterium makes some ear infections and abdominal infections specifically this clostridium makes the bloating gas and gangrene that um, uh, dead tissue uh, cause infection so this is the thing but the gangrene in this uh, specific condition uh, lack of blood flow will happen so this specific clostridium gram positive anaerobes makes a food poisoning so make a note of this food poisoning and uh, and also makes this specific species pseudomembranous colitis it makes an inflammation in the large intestine specifically in the colon region either ascending or transverse or descending colons okay and specifically this uh, uh, propioni bacterium makes stunt infections shunt infections in the sense uh, it makes infections in the brain specifically in the cerebrospinal fluid okay we'll see some gram negative anaerobes like bactericides and a uh, few so bacterium some profiromoma species and prevotella if you see the fuso bacterium makes some abscesses that means makes the formation of pus in the dead tissue or in the injured part so when you get injured you'll make a uh, formation of pus will come right because of this specific bacterium uh, whenever your body get infected your immune response will activate immediately and it releases immuno uh, response signaling molecules in that specific uh, injured part it releases some liquids that is nothing but the pus okay and porf uh, porphyromonas species makes a periodontis dontitis it's nothing but a gum disease it makes a gum inve infection due to that specific gum infections it makes it will destroy the jaw bone specifically these are the some examples of gram positive and gram negative anaerobes so what are the risk factors of uh, anaerobic infections you'll see some if you got any tissue necrosis uh, and uh, this particular anaerobes will make some infections or make complication to us in specific in the diabetes mellitus species the diabetes uh, mellitus uh, patients and uh, uh, splenectomy this is a surgical process which removes the spleen in that specific region you may get infection if any anaerobic bacteria has entered in your body it makes some complication in the specific region 
right? for immune system has got weak in your some persons may immune system get weak and in some persons immune system will become strong so those who are having immune system weak in those persons you may find some anaerobic infections okay so these are some sites a particular microorganisms can enter in your body mouth throat design cervix skin folds in this time okay so anaerobic culture methods in this video we are, we are going to know about the cultivation of anaerobic microorganisms how we will cultivate the anaerobic microorganisms in the research or any microbiological laboratory conditions okay we are having different methods uh, to make the grow of anaerobic microorganisms if you see the slide you can observe the use of media containing reducing substances and deep agar tube method and anaerobic gas pack method and anaerobic incubator these are the specific methods to make the anaerobic microorganisms grow then we will study about that particular anaerobic microorganisms and they will use to find some pharmaceutical products to decrease the particular infections or diseases right let's see one by one the culture anaerobic culture methods right first we'll see about use of media containing reducing substances so here we are having two different uh, methods or the robertson cooked meat method and uh, thioglycolate broth method in these two methods we will you here the microbiologists use the reducing substances as a um, expelling of uh, oxygen content in the culture media what they will make manually okay <clears throat> while making the culture media a lots of oxygen elements uh, they will mix up into the area, this particular culture media then it has a uh, capable of make a uh, aerobic bacterial growth for that purpose they will mix up reducing substances like hemin and glutathione as a reducing substances then it uh, it will prevent the aerobic bacterial growth in the particular broth so if you see this picture you can observe this turbidity here in this tube that is the anaerobic bacterial growth okay here also in the thioglycolate broth they will mix up some nutrients like hemin vitamin k 1% glucose 0.1% thioglycolate 0.1% ascorbic acid 0.05% cysteine they're all capable of uh, uh, dissolving the oxygen content in the culture media so that they can easily grow the anaerobic type of bacteria here we these are the methods of making the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria right this is a specific method they will use the reducing substances that will dissolve the oxygen content in the bacteria in that culture media okay so that's about so if you see this picture you can find this that is the thioglycolate broth then the second method is deep agar tube so deep agar tube in the sense first we'll make agar solution like the culture media in the tube if you see this picture you can find easily in the upper surface of this particular agar solution may contain high oxygen if you go some more deep it will come low oxygen content if you see in the bottom of this tube no oxygen content will be there so that's why they will inoculate microbial mixed um, a mix content of microbial solution into the deep of that particular agar tube so that no more oxygen will be there in the deep regions so that only anaerobic bacteria will grow okay if you see here growth in deep agar so this is the anaerobic bacterial growth okay initially it was in uh, orange or yellow in color if after incubation for 1 to 2 days you may find this anaerobic bacterial growth 
okay like this they will make the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria this is the second method deep agar method deep method deep agar tube method so here anaerobic gas pack system here they are releasing some gases for dissolving the oxygen content in that particular system if you see this system they will induce uh, hydrogen gas manually so that that particular hydrogen will mix with uh, make a reaction with oxygen to form water molecule so no more oxygen will uh, placed in that uh, system so no more aerobic bacteria will grow only anaerobic bacteria will grow so like that we are having different methods here is the anaerobic gas pack system okay here in this system we are having a uh, anaerobic indicator strips including to monitor the anaerobic conditions so anaerobic indicator is uh, playing a major role to monitor the anaerobic condition okay this is about the thing so uh, the last method is anaerobic incubator we are having some mechanical exclusion of oxygen by this particular anaerobic incubator provides an effective means of isolation of anaero specifically in the clinical laboratory so they are releasing they are replacing the atmosphere with an oxygen free gas mixtures okay so this is the one of the thing uh, what particular gas they will release they will expel the particular uh, oxygen present in the incubator so only anaerobic bacteria will grow okay so these are the specific four methods uh, they will uh, make the cultivation of uh, anaerobic bacteria specifically in the microbiological uh, laboratories or in the research labs then after making this uh, culture of anaerobes uh, then they will study about the particular anaerobic bacteria or uh, specifically what we have seen here specific if you want to do a specific uh, actinomyces you want to know about uh, actinomyces characteristics properties and what are the uh, uh, toxins they will release how it is infecting the humans then they will find the targets by utilizing those data they will uh, make a for pharmaceutical products vaccines antibiotics like that so this is about the cultivation of uh, anaerobic bacteria so that is about today have a nice day